Are we live? Yes, we are. Alright, hey there guys, the Fusion Duck here with another video. A video that I didn't think I would be doing, but since I, I've seen a lot of forums and a lot of people are having problems with this, um, and I don't have a problem, so... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be showing you if, you know, let's say, you know, you get a new... You, you have a desktop, and, you know, it's kind of crappy, and then you buy, like, a new gaming desktop, and then, you know, you got your Sims 4 save files on the crappy desktop, and you want to transfer to the gaming uh, desktop or gaming PC, or, or whatever the case is, you know, you're on vacation, and you're bringing your laptop or something, and you want to transfer your save files, if so, I'm here to help you. Um, I'm the Fusion Duck, and today we're going to be um, showing you how to transfer your Sims 4 save files from one desktop to another laptop slash desktop, so, let's get started. First, what you're going to want to buy, you're, yes, unfortunately, you're going to want to buy something, but before you get all hissy at me, you're going to want to buy this flash drive. Um, it doesn't matter what flash drive it is, but I'll show you. Like, for, before you guys get all upset and mad and they're like, oh, I was hoping that this was like a free thing. Flash drives most people have, and flash drives aren't all that expensive. I'll show you some on Amazon. First off, I recommend getting the flash drives from Amazon because I've gotten at least four flash drives from Amazon and none of them broke. So, first you're going to want to search up flash drives. And then you want to go to USB flash drives, Amazon.com. Once you get there, uh, you know... Look, thirty dollars, eighteen dollars, ten dollars. Uh, I'll show you the one I have. I, I personally, I have this one right here, fifteen dollars. Not that bad. Um, it's a sixteen gigabyte flash drive too, and um, my, I have a whole bunch of files on my flash drive, and yeah. So they're not that expensive, people. All right, ten bucks, eighteen bucks, sixteen bucks. Don't get something like this. Too expensive for, for my liking, at least. Seven bucks, dude, alright? You can't deny seven bucks. And I, I looked at this one earlier. I was thinking about getting this one. But, alright, so it, it is ten dollars, but with Prime, it's seven dollars. So, I recommend getting a lot of these flash drives. Like, getting the flash drives from Amazon. Okay, so, now we have that. First, what we're going to do is we're going to open our file f files. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to Documents. First, we're going to minimize this. We're not that li well, not like that. Extend it like okay, yeah, like that. That's good. You're gonna want to go to document. And all right, first off, um, before I get started, actually, um, if the only way this works is if you bought Sims like the Sims 4 PC version on Origin. I don't think it'll work with anything else because. So what you want to like first off, uh, here's the first step. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to log into your account on Origin on that on the gaming PC and then um install. Then install Origin on there, and then install Sims 4. Now, that might take a while, but it's worth it, honestly. Sims 4 is a fun game. So, once you have it installed on there, you're going to open your folders and files and stuff. And, you know, unlike mine, you, you for, yeah, so first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Documents and Electronic Arts. And then you're going to want to click on Sims 4, and then Saves. Um, now, these are, like, if you were to just install a Sims 4 on your gaming PC, and you won't see any of these save files, because, you know, it's a new Sims 4, you don't have any files on it. So, yeah, these are the save files, um, and yeah, so, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna put in our flash drive, and you'll know I put it in once you hear a little click, and, uh, oh, I'm having troubles here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. And that's, this is my flash drive, so... What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to you're gonna want to go to a random place in the in the flash drive and you're gonna gonna do new and then folder. Now after you make the folder, it'll say untitled folder or something like that, and then you're gonna want to click on it, the right click, and then uh, you're gonna want to rename it to Sims 4 save files. Now when you open it, there'll be nothing in the save files. Oh wait, hold on, I got Sims 4 open. <laughs> oh, I gotta exit out of that quick. So prove to you guys. Yeah, exit game. So this is what it's my uh, game's like right now. So if we delete the save files and then reinstall them, it should look like this. Pretty sure it should look like this. So yeah, hold on. Let me just exit out of here quick. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so when you open the Sims 4 save files, it's going to be empty. And that's what you expect. So sorry, I got a stuffy nose. So um, I'm not sure if you inst uh, you put in the most recent version but what I would do is do highlight all these versions, right? And then move them um, to the to flash drive, and then move to copy to Sims 4 save files. And now after that, uh, I'm going to want to delete these because I'm just showing you guys an example. So 
you know, to prove to you guys that, you know, this works. So after that, uh, so now when you go to Sims 4 save files, you'll see all, um, your save files. So what you're going to want to do after that is, um, once you do that, uh, you're going to want to go to, you're going to want to go to documents, um, go to, uh, yeah, go to, um, electronic arts, wherever that is, uh, there, the Sims 4. And then there'll be uh, saves, and then there's nothing there. So now that um, all my Sims 4 save files are gone and all that, when I load the game, you'll see this. You'll see when I load the game, um, it'll it'll be create a sim. So it'll be like I have no save files. So so then it's like oh no, what happened to my save files? So what you're gonna want to do is once you go to your gaming laptop and you install Origin, and then you go to um, Documents, Electronic Arts, and then Sims 4, and then saves. And then you're going to want to copy all, well, not copy. You're going to want to move all these to documents. Well, not yet. You're going to have to wait till something pops up. Yep. And then once it pops up, uh, you should see Electronic Arts, Sims 4, and then saves. And then copy to saves. Um, and then once that is, here's all your save files. Like, pretend you're on your gaming computer, and then you uh, take the flash drive out, put in your flash drive, and then put in all, all the save files from your flash drive. So now, it's officially, the save files and version files are officially on your gaming computer. So now, um, to prove that this works, uh, you know, as you saw, um, I took all the save files out, so it should have been like create a sim or something like that. And now that I put all the save files um, into, uh, put them back in where they were, um, now when I load them, all back in place then it should work so let's just wait until then wait to load any day now yeah and by the way you guys are probably wondering why I don't have as much origin games well because I'm a steam fan <laughs> that's simple as that I, I just don't like origin and the only reason why I got origin was to get sims 4 cause it's the only way I could get origin so I find it kinda weird how sims 3 is on steam yet sims 4 is on origin that kinda confuses me but eh. And then I don't really care that much to do research. So yeah, now that we're in the loading screen, um, so soon it should load, and then my file should be there. My guy is a guy named Brandon Dwyer. Um, he has a wife and a kid, a daughter. And if those, if that shows, then that means it was complete. The save file transfer worked. So yeah, let's go. Any day now. All right, load, 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 load. I'm just gonna pause the video and then get back to you guys when it's finished loading. And would you look at that? There is my house. There is me, my daughter, and my wife. Not my real wife, obviously. I don't have a real wife. <laughs> so let's play it just in case to see, you know, um, if anything changed or it's the same. And if it is the same, that means it worked. It's completed. So yeah, let's go. Yeah, whenever I record, um, it kind of takes a while to load, so we're just gonna have to wait a little while. Alright. And would you look at that? There's my uh, my family. Uh, now I was a stand-up star, and yes, it's there. Everything worked. Uh, all the save files are completely transferred. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys, um, because a lot of people have problems with it. I just wanted to solve it. How to um get your save files from one computer to another? You, you simply, I'm just gonna explain it again. First, get all the save files. Every all every single one, just in case to be safe. Copy it to your flash drive. And then you, what you want to do is take the flash drive out, go to your gaming laptop, put the flash drive in, and then um, take the save files out, and then put them in uh, the saves for Sims 4 files. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Um, thank you guys for watching, and bye guys.